With this lesson I would like to teach you how to decide upon a color scheme and some cool resources you can use to research them. A few words about selecting a color scheme. Selecting a color scheme may be difficult before even starting the presentation because we don't exactly know what in fact we will be using there. If you want to go for a colorful scheme or for example for a blue and only use blue shades, all of that can be decided while we are creating the presentation. However, there are a few tips you could follow and use a little bit to your advantage. First, if you are using a, a logo or you have some brand identity or brand company colors already, simply it's a perfect approach to use those colors in some way in the presentation. If you will freestyle on the presentation and just create while you are creating your, you will have ideas and just prepare the colors, there is a great tool over the internet you can use. It's called Adobe Cooler. It's it changed now to Adobe Color CC. What Cooler does, it has pre-written color schemes and you can also prepare yourself those colors and those work together perfectly. They, they match each other, they do not stab you in the eye. And what's best here, you can go to explore and explore all the popular colors people have uploaded, people have prepared and you can simply use any of those color schemes and you can be certain that your that the colors on your presentation will work together like a charm for example i could select mm, this one or i simply make a screenshot i make a screenshot by pressing on print screen i go here i copy the screenshot it was this color scheme so i simply go to the picture tool i crop the picture to only this color scheme. Right now, I have a wonderful palette I can use for my presentation. I am not certain that we will use it, but I only wanted to show you the possibilities. So I can immediately start by formatting the background, choosing the eyedropper and making the lightest out background. And as you see, I could do this for any elements. I could insert, for example, a text box, write some text, choose open sans, make it really big, make it bold. And again, with the eyedropper, I could use this color. There are also a few other resources you could explore. For example, Color Explorer works just like that. If your company, for example, have green colors, you can adjust the green and the Color Explorer will, just like Adobe Color, it will adjust the colors to match each other. So you could enter, for example, here, manually some colors while creating, for example, your brand colors, and Cooler will show you a way to use different colors that work with this. So I really hope this will be a useful resource you can use for yourself. You'll be remembering about this. The best thing is that people are voting on those colors and you can choose by the most popular or most used. By using these, you are 100% sure that these are on trend colors that people are using right now. As you see, they have over 10,000 views, a few thousand likes, also comments are here. So you can be sure that many people have used them and they are probably very professionally prepared. So thank you again for your attention. Do not worry about the color scheme too much because while we will be designing, we will decide on the color scheme on the fly. It's definitely noteworthy to know those resources. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next lesson.